okay, so this is the thing about weight training. Weight training has been around for quite a long time, like hundreds of years, but more effectively as a personal development tool in the last hundred or so. And it can change the body from inside out. And it's crucially one of the things you really need to be doing, man or women, to, to stay strong and stay in good shape. Because guess what? The, the stronger the person, the research still points to the fact they're going to live longer. Um, whether that's because you don't break a bone or you fall down, whatever. It's, it's, you just got to be strong. Um, we've done, broken it down here. It, it's got a lot of detail here, but I'm, this is sort of like, I'm going to make it simple. Um, you've got to think about three things. One is intensity. One is volume. One is density. If you think intensity is about how heavy, so if you've got like a 10 kilo tw- kettlebell and then you go to 12 kilo, that's improving intensity. Volume is how many sets and reps you do. A set is like, I say do three sets of 12 reps. Those are your sets. Three sets, four sets, five sets, six sets. And the reps are how many numbers you do, like 10, 12, 15. Never more than usually 15, but anywhere from 6 to 15. And my sweet spot's usually 8, 10, 12, something like that. So you manipulate those th- those three. Like in a workout, like if we did a full body workout like we do in the gym, I keep it simple. And we pick, say, press up, bent over row, shoulder press, um, lunge, goblet squat, bicep curl, tricep dips. <clears throat> Excuse me, we train this three to four times a week. That would be four sets, 10 reps, um, 40, 80, 160 reps. So four sets. So if you look at here, a beginner um, would be six to 10 challenging working sets per muscle group per week. And you'd be doing four, four or five sets per workout. Normally start with three, so I'd bring in a nine. So you'd be just in the beginner's one. If you did four, bring in at 12. And we work from there. So the sets are a set of shoulder presses of 12 kilos. Then you go on to press up and whatever. And then you repeat that press up or shoulder press three or four times. That will give you your sets. So back to spit again. So intensity, volume, and density. These are the important things you need to take into account. So there are calculations here, but you don't really need to go into this that depth. It's just, it's just giving you a real big high, high picture level overview. Uh, what drives growth? Now, here's the thing. You, as a person losing weight and want to maintain muscle mass and look toned, look, looking healthy and fit, not drained and gaunt, you need to build muscle or maintain muscle at least. So we use these three uh, factors, three factors of um, intensity, volume and density to make sure we maintain, if not grow muscle. And muscle is more dense than fat, so you could lose a ton of fat and put on a little bit of muscle. You look much, much leaner, but much, much, much better shape. Um, if you train really, really heavy, like you're a power lifter or a deadlift or a strong man, you would require long rest periods and you'd lift one rep, maybe two reps, maybe three reps, no more than five. We're not doing that. We don't need to be super, super, super strong. And also, if you're super, super strong, then you would spend more time in rest periods because you can overload your nervous system. But that doesn't happen when we do it. Our goal here is not to increase maximum strength here. It's to increase, increase bulk muscle growth or maintain muscle growth. As women, even guys, listen guys, it's really difficult to build muscle most of the time for most people and even more so for women, just the way we're made. Very unusual for me to find a woman that puts on muscle quite quickly. But we'd be looking at 70 to 85% of one rep max. And I mentioned it here with, I think the shoulder press that was somewhere here. Um, if you can do one shoulder press of 20 kilos, then you want to be doing between uh, 10 reps of 14 kilos or 12 reps of 12 kilos. So that kind of gives you an idea of the, the range you, you work in. So once you lift the weight a few times, you kind of know, ah, yeah, I can do that, can't do that. Um, <clears throat> so 60 to 70, 60 to 70, maybe 85% of one rep max is good. Six to 15 repetitions, like I said, I use 10 or 12. Rest is time is three minutes. I would do a circuit. So what you would do is you would go from one exercise like here to a press up, to a row, to a press, to a lunge, to a squat, to a bicep curl, try to dip. Then you do some core training and rest. And I would say no more than three minutes. Probably about a minute is about right. Then repeat the circuit. And when you look at... Um, what are we done with it? We only look at is here somewhere. When you look at beginner, intermediate, advanced, if you did say three sets of ten shoulder press, 
um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, over the course of the week, that would be nine challenging working sets per muscle group. And it would be the same with legs, um, back, shoulders, chest, etc. So you start here. You could do um, two workouts a week and you could do a set of 10 press-ups like we did with this version here. 10 press-ups, 10 rows, 10 shoulder press, 10 lunges, 10 squats. And then that will put you right at the beginning of the begin beginner's um, weight training zone. And that's fine if you're brand new to it. And then gradually over time, you build up to like 15 challenging working sets, which would be like, say, say if you still did three set three sessions a week and you did, um, say you did five sets of press-ups, five sets of rows, five sets of shoulder press um, over the three, three times a week, you'd be at 15 and then you can build up from there. You could then do four sets of um uh four sets of ten uh five times so that would be you would have something that we'd have then you'd have five five sets of ten fifty two hundred you'd have quite a few sets there so you can see how you can build up gradually that way um any questions fire them at me um i'll load these docs here so you can see them and just basic my thoughts and these are the benefits that make you stronger so <clears throat> Stronger, burn calories, decrease abdominal fat, appear leaner, decrease risk of falls. It's just a no-brainer. If you don't weight train, it's uh, it's got to be done. So this bit here, again, is if you get into the advanced one, that's like 20 challenging working sets. You could then do two exercises on one body part, or you could do four days. And on one of those days, you could do five sets of press-ups, five sets. And then you do another one, 10 sets, another one, 15 sets, and then another one, 20 sets. That's four workouts per week of a full body workout. And you're doing five sets. That puts you into the advanced group. So hopefully that makes sense. You've got questions and you want me to simplify more, then that's one for. Please reach out.